Hey everyone, how are you? One of my friends asked me about link cloaking, how to protect your emails and avoid spam filters with link cloakers, and how to build a simple link cloaker. In this awesome video, stay tuned and follow up with me. So what is link cloaking and how it helps in email marketing? I got a question from one of my friends telling me I'm using Amazon SCS which is a premium SMTP service and my email is still going to spam. Why is this? Or maybe someone told me my SCS account was blocked and I was sending normal emails and nothing spammy and so on. When I investigated these issues, I saw that those people are sending affiliate links in their emails, in their messages, or sending some links which contains suspicious domains or blacklisted domains. So whenever you send a message that holds a link, affiliate link, or maybe a domain blacklisted, this message will be marked as spam automatically. I explained this in my video on how to avoid spam and why emails are going to spam. You can check the videos in the description below. So how to protect yourself and ensure that spam filters will not filter your URLs that I will show you now in this lab how to build your own simple link cloaker and to avoid maybe high cost with online services and online cloakers. In order to build your own link cloaker, what you need is a small VPS server to host your links on and you need a domain. It may be your own website domain, any domain you want you can use. So we need a server and we need a domain. To make things easy for you, just go and follow me now. Go to digitalocean.com and create an account so we can create a VPS server for link cloaking. I will attach a link in the description so you can subscribe and get free $50 coupon to test everything for free. So go to DigitalOcean, log in, and let's create a droplet. Click here on droplets. You will see how things really is simple now. Just go here to marketplace and click on see all market apps. Then just here select LAMP. If it doesn't appear, just go into the search and search for LAMP. And here we are. Select LAMP server, which is a pre-configured server to start directly with. You will not worry about any technical configuration. Click create LAMP droplet. And this is what really makes DigitalOcean very simple. Just go select a $5 machine. It will be enough for you, just for your direction, for just for cloaking. Select your region. I will select here San Francisco, whatever, and go down. Here you need to enter your host name. Simply your host name will be the domain you are going to use or the subdomain. I will say, as an example, download.hsites.com. Simply h-sites.com is my domain name. Please ensure you select a good standing domain name and not a blacklisted domain. So it may be your website, it may be a new domain, just get a good domain. Get one here and just go down and click create droplet. Very simple. Just wait a little bit now for the droplet to be configured. A droplet is a VPS in DigitalOcean. We will use this server to host. We will use this server just to host our link cloakers. You will see we can host tens of cloakers, tens of links using this $5 machine. So it's really cheap. Now you can see the droplet is created. The first thing you need to do is to point your subdomain this or your domain to this droplet. I will copy this IP address and I will go to my domains here. Where is my domains? Networking. Here I'm configuring my domain through DigitalOcean. You may be using GoDaddy, you may be using Namecheap, whatever domain company you are using, just follow up and point the domain. I will go here to more and manage domain. And simply I will add a host name. I will say download, which is my machine. 
name and I will point to my droplet here very simple and click create record now we have our droplet and our domain name is pointed to this IP so everything is ready now what you need to do is to connect to this droplet to this server and just reset the password so we can start working with it I will use an application called putty if you have followed my courses and videos before I did this a lot when I configured SMTP servers when I configured a VPS server when I host my websites and so on so I think this is familiar to you if you are following me before just open putty it's a free application I will also put the link in the description so you can download directly just paste this name of your droplet or your IP address and then click on open click yes and now just say here root to log in and it will ask you for the password DigitalOcean will send you the password to your email so I will go to my gmail account so here is the email from DigitalOcean open it and here is my default password just copy and then go to my droplet here and just paste how to paste just right click and the password will be there it will not be shown for security reasons but it's somewhere there click enter and the first thing it will ask you is to reset the password so, so just paste the password again the current password and now we can enter a new password very very simple you can see now our server is configured how to clock links let's see I will close this I don't need any more I will open now notepad and paste this long link let's say this is my affiliate link this is a link to my academy anyway now any link you want this is the link that you want to clock just copy this link I will copy it and go to my description below you will find this simple HTML file right click on it and click on edit edit with any text editor and you will see here a place for the content and the URL just replace this I will replace this with my URL and in the same way here down just replace the URL and save this very simple now we have this link cloaker this file here what do we do with this file just we upload to our server I will open an application called WinSCP it's also a free application so you can connect to your server and manage your server files in the same way I will say download h sites.com enter the password and the root account and login okay just go back to the server directory and here go down to the var folder open it we will see something called here www open it and then go to html and now we can start let's remove this file and now we can start creating folders for each link let's say now I will create a new directory I will say I will say academy now open this folder academy folder and just drag and drop this link here very simple now we have the first cloaked link how is this let's see now let's open google chrome or any web browser and let's see this magic i will go to download.hsites.com slash academy you can see this this link so this is our cloaked link now you can see it's a simple link it's not an affiliate link very simple it's safe just open it and now you can see we'll see this page direction and then we will go to, my, to our main link you can see this it's really awesome we clock the main link with this simple save link very nice I think the idea is now very simple you can just create in here new folders for each link just create a new directory let's say as an example deal whatever you want and just drag and drop this index file and change the link inside it and you will have a new clogged link and if you want you can also replace this link here in the file with a URL shortened link so that's it this is how you can build a simple link cloaker with a five dollar machine and click maybe hundreds of links using your own server 
And as I told you, you can simply add a link shortener to track the clicks on these links. I hope the idea was somehow simple. This will help you make your messages safer when you send them. And anyway, don't be a spammer, but this maybe help you in organizing your links and making things simple. Also, you will see that links are somehow smaller and this will help you avoid any spam filter.